mean, just how important was that win in the context of the top four fight? Oh, yeah, crucial. It, it, I just said before, he'd rather be winning than losing. And the, the, but the way we won probably wasn't how we, you know, replicating our best football from the first half of the year. So, um, as you say, got out of jail a little bit and got, we'll take the win. And it, I think, you know, there's more positive than negatives out of the game. But, um, you know, we've got to move forward with our training and, and get to work a little bit more on the track with, with some of the things that Carlton showed us up with uh, tonight. So, that'll come during the week. We've got a nine-day break now heading into, um, you know, uh, a full strength to long, so uh, another, a, a bit a really exciting challenge for us. What was Ross's main message in the rooms just then? Um, they just wanted to take a few of the boys for some golfing practice during the week, and um, no, no, he, he, he's fantastic. He, I, I think the beauty of Ross is we, we we got the win, but as I said, there were some some areas in our football tonight that weren't weren't up to our trademark our trademark qualities. So he uh, is not backwards in coming forward about. Um, there is we need to improve and as a group we've got to take that on board and, and um, go in the right direction with it if we want to you know, be a team with some sustained success. Obviously it was a team effort in that last quarter to get over the line but just some how good, how, did, how well did you rate Nat Fife's last quarter? Yeah he's pretty good, he's, <laughs> uh, like, it, he's just a warrior, he just, um, like, it's, it's hard to put into words, he, he's, he's a guy that he sees, sees some areas people aren't pulling their slack and he'll He'll literally chuck them on their back and, and start to work and grunt through. He, he had, had Carazzo hanging off him most of the night. So um, for him to, to pull it, pull out 30 minutes like he did in the end uh, it is I suppose just, just, just rewards for, for why he's rated as such a, um, such a, such a high-quality player and definitely rather be playing with him than against him. So, um, yeah, great, great performance by him, and, and, and just I suppose a number of other players, guys like Chris Main, just didn't didn't stop all night. Probably didn't get the output on the scoreboard or disposal wise, but he was the one that um, you know was able to put a little bit of pressure on their their backs and, and give us a chance to get the ball back in midfield and um, in the defensive half. You alluded to uh, the next game, Geelong. Uh, no fears going down there, looking back at last year's qualifying final. No, no, definitely not. I, we, we we embrace it. We've been to Darwin this year. We we. Um, yeah, we, we went to Geelong last year in that final. Um, I think it's more more an exciting prospect than anything else. I mean, um, you know, we we go down there having you know, not been at our best over the past probably two to three weeks. So we go down there against a red hot Geelong, um, but also we're a team that likes to get away together, uh, bond together, um, improve improve each other um, you know, on the on the track, and then. When we get away, we really enjoy the time, but also serious when, when the time is to be serious. So, massive challenge for us and a really uh, exciting one. Thanks, Mick. All right, thanks, man. Cheers, man.